Well, good morning guys. How are we all doing today? I will be starting a brand new YouTube site. I am actually at Sir Edward's Heath, um, where he was born in Salisbury. And if you do like this, please subscribe. Please like, please also share. New camera, new video. So yeah, I'm trying to sort of find the lens, that's that probably a bit better. So yeah, I'm sorry I've been done here for quite a while. I uh, do apologise, work, health. But I'm actually redoing my YouTube channel, longer hours. Well, not longer hours, but longer minutes. So I thought I'll start off at Edward Heath's house first for you guys, and I will give you a little bit of information. So if you're with me, give a thumbs up. And let's get going. Actually, at the time, I'm actually in his garden. I'll be moving into his house very shortly, and this camera is doing its job perfectly. Yep, new camera, guys. You know me, new videos, new new two channel as well. So yes, we get going. So let me give you a bit of. History on the background of where I am. I hope you all can hear me. So let's have a sit down over here, and it's actually a lovely place. I can't you come here before? I should park my arse on there, or bottom. I'm quite sure where the mic is, but hopefully it's somewhere. This garden is absolutely huge. So. So what I'll do, I will actually park myself down here and give you some information about it. So guys, oops, can't let you see me now. Let's give you some information about Edward Heath. So Edward Richard Heath, or George, uh, KGMBE, often known as Ted Heath, uh, was a British politician who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1970 to 1974. I was born in 1974 and the leader of the Conservative Party from 1965 to 1975. Heath served 51 years as a Member of Parliament from 1950 to 2001. Uh, he was in the battle, he was in Second World War Service number was 179215, British Army served. Awards MBE, uh, Military Division. Uh, Heath was born in Broadstairs in Kent in 1916. He studied politics, philosophy and economics at Balliol. College Oxford. Where he served with the Royal Artillery during the Second World War. Sedratis was Prime Minister of that bit. He also played a big role in fostering links between the West and people and the People's Republic of China and served on the Brandic Commission on this international development. 
1990 he flew to Baghdad and successfully negotiated the release of some of the human shields hostages being held by Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein. So that's a little history on the guys. Her Majesty's Queen uh, appointed him a Knight of the Garter. Not things that you wear on your legs when you get married in 1992. And he subs described the day as an inauguration as being the proudest day of my life. So let's carry on with the, um, with the video of the garden. And then I shall make our way into the house. How about that? So yeah, I've been here before. Um, I can say. Ooh, my legs. It's a lovely place. A very huge, huge garden. Very huge garden. It goes on for ages. It goes on for a very long time. It does have some wonderful and bizarre plants in here as well, which I noticed last time I came. Being tapped by flies. Like these little... Strange little plants, really. Quite nice, though. I was like calling the cob. Now, oh, is that a rapeseed plant? It looks like it. But yeah. Oh. So, so he's got a huge, huge garden for guys and girls. Anybody sort of. Quite you want to come down to Salisbury. This is a place to visit. This is a place to visit. There's lovely statues here last time and uh, the last time I actually stuck two pence in it. He was a huge, huge sailor man. And when, as you go inside, you'll see loads of pictures on the wall and huge cabinets of him and his boats. Oh, you can't actually see it. You can see the spy in the background. Now, we'll actually squeeze through there. I said this garden goes on for ever and ever. Nice plants on do that. So it's different again. Magic circle. One lovely thing in it. Getting attacked. Getting attacked. Ooh, this grass feels nice and spongy. bench and this is what we got at the bottom nice views oh, there's a camera there oh, the park across 
There are some swans down there. We've got some bizarre plants. Well, you know what these plants are, please let me know. There's some swans down there. That didn't be my telescopic lens, but yep. Yeah. There's some swans down there. So, yeah, this classifies as garden. Now let's go inside the house. Ruins ten minutes. There's a little chair by there. Yeah, I do have a spare battery. Then it's supposed to be good batteries, but somebody using them for the first time. Ooh, oops, hazelnuts. Lock them. We're maintenance. Like I said, this garden stretches for miles. This is only part of it. This is half the garden. And then we got the other half. So let's go indoors. Let's go indoors. Just trying to lovely tree. Here's what type of that tree is, let me know. I'm not sure there's got auto focus on, but there we go. That's what I just need to set it up, but there we go. It's fine, that's okay. I've learned by my mistakes. Oh, this is actually is quite broccoli by there. Do a cabbage. No, it's not broccoli. About 13 minutes. outside of his house. That'll be interesting. <sighs> it's a lot of sailing ships. So please like and please like, subscribe and share if you haven't already. And I said I will be redoing. I'll be starting off a brand new YouTube channel. So I'm going to be quiet as possible inside.
Stairs in this house now. Let's go to a study. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the study. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd come back and do some recording this time. Came in before oh. last time. Oh. And some sort of some places allow you to do it, some places don't, but yeah. they did say you go allowed to. Yeah. But I'll come back again. Heavy lead cases. Yeah, mm. mysterious boxes. The funny quirk about these is that the, the handles at the top, but the locks underneath, so you can't actually pick it up with documents in yeah. it being, like, being locked. Makes you lock it because obviously all of it would fall out. Yes, that's true.
must be strong to hold those. Hmm? So it must be strong to hold those. Pick those yeah. up. Things left. Hold it up. Give me something to look. That's it. Pull all the things up. B day. Bedrooms the other side. I do like that. I do like that. about the weight of the boxes, yeah. they're between four and six kilograms they come oh. out because they're lead lined. Six kilograms, yeah, those, mm. yeah. Although in, in being like a, a biggest chap for a small, narrow shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Lost his bedroom. This, this was his bedroom. Oh, this was his bedroom. This was his bedroom. But he, he passed away here, he had a hospital bed. Oh, right, okay. And they took the hospital bed away, but they didn't, couldn't find his old bed to put back in here. Oh. So they turned it into like a conference room, but this is all his bedroom furniture he had in here. Because oh, right. his wardrobe was down the side there. Oh, right, okay. It was oh. not open. Yeah. Very swish. That would make sense, wouldn't it? If it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice colour. <laughs> you have you been going to the end and looked in the mirrors? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that's a bit I was after. That's the blue bedroom. Ah, that's what. Yep, that's what I was after. The blue bedroom. This is blue bedroom, you can tell by nice blue colours. Lovely. 
verändert die Welt. How long this one's down for, but let's try and give you guys as much as I can. That's why this is another bathroom here, the blue one. Which is going to run out soon, guys. So hopefully, oh, see your sleeves down there. Show from the boy. Uniforms. Uniforms. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Quick soup upstairs. 